Hey guys, what's up? It's Battle Beats here once again with another video. So, as you saw yesterday, I'm on lockdown, so I've started doing a series of vlogs. And if you also saw in yesterday's video, you saw that I remixed Michael Jackson's Thriller. Kato, the producer, for those who uh, don't know him, he's this big uh, music producer that's produced for a bunch of artists, and he put a challenge out saying, who can remix Thriller by Michael Jackson? So I thought, let's give it a go. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made it. It's battle, baby. So we'll start off with the a cappella that I downloaded. Michael Jackson is just one of the best singers that we've ever seen, and his mic technique is just amazing as well. So I'll just play the a cappella. I added a, just a few effects over here and a, a nice bit of reverb as well. You hear the door slam and realize there's nowhere left to run. So this is usually my vocal chain, got um, a compressor by Wave, CLA76, Sibilance, which is a good de and just another de -esser. that's a stock logic plug-in. And then we've got a bunch of reverb and a few other things on there as well. And the way it's come out is just really nice. So the two sim sounds that we have at the start here is a sweeping pad to give the sound and the track a little bit of direction, a little bit of warmth. It just, it just makes you feel like something's happening, it's just really cool. And then we've also got a, a vintage lo-fi synth key sound on there as well. I'll play them individually and I'll play them together. And then the sweeping pad. What I wanted to do then is add another layer of keys, but it's just a little bit different. It's just sort of playing the chords up as they go. And I pan them left and right, and they're just sounding really nice. So when that's on top of the actual key sounds and the sweeping pad that you heard earlier, it just fits in really good. And I also layered a lighter key sound on that as well, just so it Gives it a little bit more punch. I didn't really do much with those sounds except take a bit of low and high and boost around 2k. And then I added RC20. These are my settings here, a bit of wobble, a bit of space, a bit of distortion. For the first part of the track I wanted to add just some lo-fi chill drums. And this is what we came up with. And then I put a re-space underneath that as well, and they just sound so full and just amazing together. It's groovy. And it wouldn't be a Battle Beats track really without some sort of vinyl tape ambient sound in the background. So I just added some vinyl crackles. So I'll play you what the intro and the start of that sounds like. Then I'll go down and break down the drums for the chorus, because they're slightly different. So it's really cool, really funky, right? And then just before the chorus breaks down, I wanted to add a little bit of a break and a bit of a fill to then give the chorus a little bit of an expectation and then when it drops in it's like, oh yeah, that is sick. So I'll play you what I made there. I know it's way different than the original and one of my best friends is like Michael Jackson's biggest fan so he's probably going to think that I've murdered the track but I think I've just took it somewhere that no one ever has and it's just super chill. My vibe at the moment is chill track, especially the beat that I made in the uh, vlog yesterday. Chill beats just to relax people at this time in, in the world, you know, with the whole pandemic. You can't name what it is because YouTube takes your video down. But chill beats, relaxing, stress-free music and I've just made this song super stress-free so... I'm happy with it. So we start off with the two snares that I've got. 
One of them is just a lo-fi snare, sounds like this. And then the other is more of a rim shot. So they're playing all the way through and I've laid them so they sound fuller. My favourite bit about the chorus is the bass line because it's just got a little bit of a groove before it goes in. I kept the, the, the bass going along with the original chords because I figured it just is groovy and it just takes it away from the verse so it's a little bit fuller and it's just really nice. This bass sound is one of my favourite bass sounds, I'll show you it. It is the 1990 Reese bass from Cymatics and it was a preset that I bought in the Viper pack that they dropped. I'll tell you what, that sample pack has changed my life. That much I bought Dreams as well, their other new sample pack and I've just got samples for days and I'm just making better music than I ever have because of those those guys so I'm really grateful but the the pads and the sims are all doing the same thing just following different chord structures and then I've changed up the drum beat a bit so you've got your kicks and your snares doing this I know some rappers who could probably kill that drum beat as it is. I've got this perk loop going all the way through and it just sounds super sweet. Uh, and it's just, it's just really cool, it's just got so much going on. And then with the drums and bass. I love it. And I dance like Chandler from Friends but I don't care. I'm vibing out. If you're a music producer and you don't vibe out in your own studio, there's something wrong with you. Stop making music. It's, it's what we do, we just dance to our beats. And the cool thing about the perk loop is because the chords and the synths are all doing something similar, this is basically just giving it a little bit of something just to spruce it up. Michael Jackson's vocals are covering it or making it awesome anyway, but this just adds another layer of something dope. And that's kind of it really. Might be a short one once I've edited the video, but I hope you like the track. I'll play the full thing at the end like I did yesterday. And yeah, go check out my other social medias, my Instagram and my TikTok. I make some really cool remix videos and I hope you like them. I hope you're staying safe and washing your hands and all of that stuff. So yeah, this is Battle Beats. This is the second vlog of quarantine. I'm gonna try and keep up with daily videos. We'll just see how it goes. Have a good day guys, take care.